what's going on YouTube? It's your buddy Will from the What's Up in the Sky 37 channel. We're online at www.whatsupinthesky.com. And just as I got put done putting out a video saying that the, uh, the Mars orbiter from India had had some issues with it, bam, the Indian got it up and rocking. Um, congratulations to the ISRO. Here we go. Mars orbiter bounces back, raring to go at 1.18 LAKH kilometers. All right, India's first Mars orbiter spacecraft bounced back into action after a day of concern when ISRO scientists raised its apogee farthest point from the Earth to more than 1 LAKH kilometers on Tuesday. The orbit raising operation was a success, the chairman told uh, TOI early on Tuesday. We're expecting an apogee of 1.18 LAKH kilometers. This means that the spacecraft is ready to leave Earth's orbit. This exercise, called the Trans-Martian Injection, is planned on December 1st. Um, so basically, they had some issues with some of the, uh, the the firing of the thrusters. And if you go back to my channel, there's a uh, there's a guy really, this guy right here really uh, explained exactly what happened. If you want to hit pause and read this, or just go back to my last video, um, uh, India mom hits snag, satellite falling to Earth, and ice in by binoculars. If you check that out, really good explanation about what's going on there. I won't read it for you. Um, but... Congratulations, India. I'm glad you guys got it up and running. I want these pictures so bad. I want to see what you guys send back. Like I said, we've seen the European Space Agency's stuff came back beautiful. And uh, we really want you guys to make it there, especially everybody out here in the field who's really excited about this stuff. All the amateur guys that look at the pictures, the people who send me stuff, all the subscribers. Most people here are all rooting for you. So anyway, um, one other thing. I saw the gravity this weekend. And uh, I don't know, like I said, I had, I enjoyed this movie because I saw it in 3D. And I, believe me, I'm not going to start doing movie reviews, but uh, I figured I'd take a quick, quick glance at this one. Um, it was a good movie, but if to go see this, you got to really take all like logic and throw it out the window. Um, the way that it works, the way they are jumping from thing to thing, you know, it's definitely not. <laughs> if you know anything about any sorts of our physics we have and stuff. You just got to throw it out the window. But I saw this weekend. It was, it was interesting in 3D. Um, I, I would go see it again in 3D just because of the cool effects and stuff like that. Um, I thought George Clooney would be in it a little bit more. But, uh, you know, well, he wasn't. I'm not going to give up any of the actual uh, plot line. But it's very predictable as a movie. Um, the best thing about it is the picture. Most people said the plot line was horrible. Um I must say that it wasn't that great. Um, <laughs> you know, the plot is what it is. But uh, if you're into effects and you're into space, it might be something to go watch. You know, I, like I said, I, I know it's been out for a couple of weeks now, or maybe even a, a month now. And uh, Ann and I just got up to see it this weekend. Like I said, I'd, I'd go back and see it again just for the 3D. Um, but I won't be downloading this and watching it at home. So if that tells you anything. Much love, guys. Take it easy. Congratulations, India. You guys rock. Peace.